Hey, it's Q. Uh, I'm up. I just got in. Well, I didn't just get in. I've been in for a while, actually. Um, after the whole Lido situation, I just kind of went for a drive to knock some of the bad energy off. It just, it kind of burns me for my background singers and like the people that come out to see me because it's, it's just time and money, um, gas and, you know, we, we are working class people and, you know, Friday nights, if you ain't going out to party, you getting started on some good sleep for the weekend. So, you know, they could have been home doing other things. So it just kind of brought to me. Um, and it sucks because that's never really happened, like at least not there with Lido's. Um, with the Feel Good Friday situation, so I think what I <laughs> what I want to do is uh, let the universe know exactly what I'm trying to record. I've just grabbed my camera and decided I'm going to start blogging, and so obviously I'm attracting some something interesting for people to see, but I don't want it to be the the dramatic kind, the kind that starts. Uh, being a problem, so I'm going to have to go back in and uh, fix that. But uh, while I'm here, while I'm up, hi, Tina. Uh, but Tina is a good friend of mine from an old singing group um, that I used to be a part of. We were called Cream, and then we went on, changed to On Cue later on. She um, was like my best friend in the group, and so she asked if I would uh, blog about my experience, and I don't really have any, any bad things to say like I just think as um, the problem being was management like our frustrations came from not getting anywhere we didn't go anywhere management um, was kind of like had other uh, things going on like they were starting or expanding their family like having babies and stuff and for a group a four girl group, a project like a group, you those two things don't go together. You need to have the energy and the effort, um, you know, placed into working on bettering the group. Um, I think me and Bettina never had any issues, um, as far as I remember. It'd be funny when you blog if you'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember that one time. Um, me and Shauna never really had any issues. Um, Shauna and Nikki were cousins. Um, actually, the manager, the managers, the husband and wife were Nikki and Shauna's um, aunt and uncle. Um, but Nikki and me, <laughs> we had an issue. Um, she gave me her car. I think this was like my first year out of high school or second year or something. She gave me her car and I took over the payments and I was supposed to get insurance on it. Um, and I never got the insurance and so her mom and her and her boyfriend at the time and I think her sister came and like repossessed the car while I was at work. It was funny so I, I didn't like Nikki for a long time but uh, I'm totally over that. I hope you're well wherever you are, Nikki. Um, and then Nikki and Shauna just had like cousin issues. Um, but then I guess Shauna would like get on Nikki about, you know, whether she really wanted to be in the group because it was just kind of like whatever for her. Like when she didn't want to come, she didn't come. <laughs> um, and then Shauna and Bettina had an issue and it was <sighs> towards the end. It was, I think, Shauna feeling some kind of way about Bettina being pulled away from the group to do like solo projects and stuff. And I think... Shauna probably was the only person that felt that way. Nikki couldn't care less. And I was rooting for her because I knew we weren't going to go anywhere. And she was so, she's so talented, is still. Um, and I was just like, oh, God, do something with her. Like, she needs to be out there. So I was always, like, interested in what she recorded. And um, I think I was the only one that came to her show. She did a show at the Celebrity Center one time. And I came. And I, I don't remember seeing Nikki or, or Shauna, but they could have been there. But I don't remember. But I just, I've always you know, thought of her as like number one um, in the group between us. Like she was always the most talented. So, but, and she was also like really crazy, just goofy and free. And I think that's why we got along so well. But 
that was like the extent of our issues, like boy problems and relationship problems. And that was it. Like, I don't recall us having any, you know, major issues. Like my mom didn't want me to be in the group. So I was out of the group, like on two different occasions. And then the second time I came back, there was a fifth member. Um, so we were a five girl group for a moment. I think the only time we ever performed together was um, we sang at Shana, at Juana's, Shana's mom's funeral. Um, and then she left the group to be a model. And actually, I saw her for the first time and since the group was together um, this summer at the Taste of Soul, um, Elika. And uh, we talked for a brief second. Um, but that was it. That's all I remember about us. A lot of stuff is kind of blurry, but um, I don't know. I don't think we did too bad as a girl group. If you think about all the girl groups we, we know, you know what I mean? We didn't do bad at all. So, um, what I what I will say is I did take an important and very important lesson away from the group. Um, I've always, you know, like I said, looked at Tina as the most talented, then myself, then Shauna, then Nikki, and a lot of times um, Shauna would get like lead parts to perform because her stage presence was much more, you know, appealing than mine. And I'm just like, I sing way better than her. Like, why am I not getting lead parts? And, you know, the, the lesson in that was, you know, you know, nobody wants to see a boring show. So if you're not going to perform, then, you know, you might as well not even get up there. And then that, that helped me a lot in, you know, in my solo artistry. Um, you know, although my style is really easy and laid back, like you have to find your niche in that. And so um, I think I'm a better performer um, by learning that lesson. So if I've never said thank you to Ron and Lisa, thank you. I, I really appreciate the, the opportunity. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully that, that helps you, Tina. I, I mean, you, we've talked before about um, the group. So uh, I can't wait to see your blog. <laughs> Maybe we can get Shauna and Nikki to do one. That would be funny. But... Um, I'm going to sleep. I've got a show tomorrow, so hopefully I can take you guys along um, inside the venue. I intended to do that at Lido's, but I started getting text messages in the car, and um, Mama wouldn't log and all that stuff in there. So, um, yeah, hopefully everything will be well. We will get some footage of the show tomorrow, and I'll record the actual performance and put it up and post it. All right? Good night.